Hey, Kim here from Craft Buggy. Today we're going to be etching glass. I'm so excited about these. They're so much fun to make and there's so many different ways you can personalize them. You can use beer glasses, wine glasses, you can even use mirrors, you can use all sorts of different glass mediums. And I'm so I'm so excited to show you how to do this. It's so easy. I really didn't think it was going to be as simple as it really is. So let's go ahead and start etching. For this project, you're going to want Armor Etch, of course. This is going to be your star ingredient for this project. It's really easy to use and it's pretty easy to find. I found this one on Amazon, but you can also get it at Hobby Lobby and I think I've also seen it at Joann's. So you're going to want that. You're also going to want some type of glass. So I just got this beer glass at the dollar store. You can really use anything. You can use wine glasses, you can use mirrors. As long as it's not a thicker glass like Pyrex, it'll do just fine. You're also going to want to protect yourself. So you're gonna want gloves, you're gonna want safety glasses. If this stuff gets on your skin or gets in your eye, you're not gonna be a happy camper. So protect yourself, gloves and glasses, that'll be important. You're also going to want a paintbrush. I would recommend this one as opposed to the foam paint brushes, just because with the little, little fibers, then you can get into those little nooks and crannies. And it's just a little bit more gentle whenever you're putting the etch onto your onto your cup. It's less likely to um, get under the vinyl or mess up the vinyl in any way. You're also going to want a weeding tool just to weed out the little pieces of your vinyl. And then with this vinyl, it's really important to get a permanent vinyl. If you use a vinyl with less adhesive, it's just going to be a lot harder to get it to stay down. And then with your transfer paper, I only have a little bit left, but um, as you can see, it's Silhouette. Um, this one is my favorite transfer paper brand. I just, I love our transfer tape. This is, I just love it. It goes on really nicely. It peels up really easily. And I just love the grid lines. I just love everything about it. I can't say enough good positive things about Silhouette transfer tape. Um, and then you are also going to want some type of pressing tool. So this is actually just Pampered Chef. It came, I don't even know what it came with. Um, but basically whenever I put the design on my cup, then I just take this and just make sure all edges are completely pressed on. So you can use this, you can use a credit card, whatever you have available. And now that we have listed all of our supplies, let's go ahead and get started on our project. So I have here the three different methods you can do to put the etch on. This bottom one is the one where I only leave it on for a minute, like what the directions say. You can see that it's just kind of smudgy and it's just not as bold. Um, this one is the method I'm gonna show you today. And it's basically where you apply the etch for five minutes and then you leave it for 10 minutes to sit. And this one is the same method, but done twice. So you can just see it's slightly bolder than this one but I think that both of these top ones turned out really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and start by placing my decal. So I put the transfer tape on um, and then I'm just gonna place it onto the cup. So it might take, the camera's a little close, so I might have to take this away and <laughs> place it myself so it's straight. But basically you just wanna line it up and place it on there really well. I'm gonna go ahead and use my pressing tool and just press everything down and just make sure it's on there really well before I peel up the transfer tape. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and peel this up. And we'll go ahead and place that etch. I forgot to throw it in there that before you place your decal, you are definitely gonna wanna wipe everything down with alcohol. Um, that's just gonna make sure that you have a good stick on everything. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take globs of this and I'm just gonna dab it onto my design. This is kind of a big design, so it's gonna take a little bit longer, but make sure you don't do strokes because that's going to 
make your design have streaks in it. We don't want that. Now that you have all your etch on there, we so we want it to be thick enough so that you cannot see the design through it. Um, that'll just ensure that you have a really good consistency to your design. And so what you want to do now is you want to go through it for five minutes and just do different strokes. So sideways, and then you'll go eventually go up and down. Make sure you keep everything in the lines though. Now that it's been about five minutes of consistently doing different strokes over my design, I'm just gonna make sure every surface is covered and then I'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. So don't touch it for 10 minutes and then we'll rinse it off and you'll see your beautiful design. Now that we've waited 10 minutes, we just want to make sure we get all of this etch off. So I just take a paper towel and wipe it off. I just don't want all of that in my sink. Um, if you wanted, you can actually um, just take your um, paintbrush and you can save it. I've seen, I've heard of people doing that and they say it works pretty well. And you just want to rinse all of this off of there. So I'm just going to go through, make sure it's really clean. Now I'm going to go ahead and peel my decal off. As you can see, here's our final result. I'm so excited with how this turned out. I think he's really going to love this for Father's Day. And I just love how simple this was. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to comment below. And I just hope that this simplified everything. I think that most people think that when they hear etching, it's this really complicated procedure and you need this big fancy equipment. And it's actually just so much easier than everyone thinks it is. And I would love to see your designs. Go ahead and visit me at craftbuggy.com. Um, and I'd love to see what you come up with. And at that, at my website, I also have a um, written down list of instructions if that helps you anymore. Um, I also have my materials and where I got everything. And then if you like this video and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, we'll see you then.